Welcome to another episode of Driveway Dudes. Today we're going to show you if you can run a Raspberry Pi with a power bank designed for charging mobile phones and tablets. Now I have two Raspberry Pis here. I have the B Plus and I also have a Raspberry Pi 0W and first off we're going to try the B plus and I'll plug it into the power bank and I'll monitor the output on it it's running through the 2.1 amp socket 5 volts just switch it on and it's starting to register as you can see it's booting up and we'll just test it under load It'll take a moment or two and as you can see it's reading voltage and ampage. So what we'll do then is we'll go into the videos, go into add-ons, might take a moment or two we go into YouTube and we'll run a video from this just to see if it'll run on the load. Now not forgetting that you're running from a 5, a five volt 2.1 amp power bank. The recommended for the B plus is up to 2.5 amps. So I'm going and do a search and again it can take a moment. It's still working on the load. And what do you have? What we've got something familiar here. I'm gonna just try that there now. Again it's just loading up. Give it a moment. And We'll just try this again, take a moment, All right. Now that works it's working under load and it's estimated that the power bank the 5200 milliamp power bank will run a raspberry pi for anything from 30 to 40 hours before it discharges totally now what we'll do is we'll try it on the raspberry pi zero Now it's plugged into the Raspberry Pi 0W and we'll just switch on the power bank. Recording voltage and the little Raspberry Pi 0 as you can see it's flashing there so it appears to be booting up and again the Raspberry Pi 0 can run up to 2.5 amps on load and the little power bank will only push out 2.1 so we'll see what happens just waiting for it to boot up there now it's just booting up there <coughs> excuse me and you can see up here it's the processor is a hundred percent now it's just dropped down so it's booted. Now we've also got wireless connection and let's go on the internet. Process is running at 100% and it's still working. I take a moment or two. The Little Pi is 
a little bit slow for web browsing. And it's still on 100% the processor and it's still working and we're running it off a power bank 5200 milliamp power bank. Okay, now let's just go search for something. Again, it's under load and it's still working. No, I'm not trying to put down the Raspberry Pi to say that it's a little bit slow for browsing the internet. The object of this video is to show that it will work on the load. It's running, the processor is running at 100%, which means it's pulling as much as it can from the little power bank. And the power bank is supplying enough. And as you can see, it is pulling up a web page. So there is no real issue there running it from a power bank. Now I've done a couple of calculations and found out that the Raspberry Pi W0, running it on full load, you will get between 25 and 44 hours. So not bad for a power bank that costs less than 15 euro. So there you have it. We've just shown you that you can run a Raspberry Pi from a power bank. And if you happen to come across a small little screen that can run off 5 volts, you may be able to use that also. Well, thanks for watching and don't forget to drop us a comment, like, share and subscribe. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Blogger and Instagram. Thank you.